Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video of a model home built by JLP. I did a video of the model in Bell Oaks a few months ago, and I mentioned in that video that JLP does a smaller version of that home. Well, behind me is that smaller version. It was purchased by someone else and it's getting ready to close. But I'm doing this video because it is a really good representation of what a regular house looks like compared to a model home. So uh, let's go take a look at this house and uh, see what you think. The model home in Bell Oaks is about 4,200 square feet. This one is right around 3,000 square feet. So uh, let's go check out the inside of it. This is a beautiful front entrance of the home. They do still have the builder's door on it. Like I said, this house is not ready to close on just yet, but this gives an example of what this builder can do for you. Like I said, I love the details they put on the beautiful rocks. All right, let's go ahead and head on inside. All right, right when we come in, you do have this beautiful entryway here. Now I'm gonna be referring to the Bell Oaks model a lot because they're, and pointing out the differences in this house versus the Bell Oaks model. For one, the distance from this wall here to this wall is only a couple of feet. So uh, and if you remember, the Bell Oaks model had a little bit longer uh, countertop and it had the little fruit rin rinsing uh, sink there. This does not have that. This is a fully custom home. So the buyer who had this house built was able to do little things differently than what the model home was. They still do have the sink over here on the side, which I love, and they carry the tile all the way up to the top, and that looks great. They do have the double stack ovens. They got the beautiful gas fireplace, I mean the fireplace, the uh, range, and it's a little different than what they show in the model. And they did the pot filler. Over there is still the formal dining room section. Let me give a good pan of this great room area. And the windows, you can tell they did a little bit different. Uh, this is uh, what you can get done. And uh, everyone always asks me, what is the cost of the model home? And it's tough to tell because a builder will put every bell and whistle in. But this is a great representation of what you can do to cut costs because that's not the same in the model as a big giant wall of uh, window doors. A lot of this is still the same as what we saw in the model. They had the beautiful uh, wine rack area and the fridge area. Nice pantry. They did pocket doors in this with your little powder room. And this is coming in from the garage. You do have the mud room area right there. And the utility room. Washer and dryer with a nice sink area. I love the floor selections that these guys chose. They do have the eight foot doors, which look great. Let's check out, see what the garage is looking like. All right, JLP does do a really nice job finishing out the garage. They got the windows in here. This is a three car garage. This is gonna have two water heaters and it's still, they finish it out really nice with having it covered there. Love the fact that they got trim work in the garage and plumb for a water softener. They did still keep the wooden beams, but also you noticed in the model, they went with a big A-frame uh, top part this side. This version, they decided to go with a uh, flat ceiling, but it's still a really high voltage ceiling. They did keep with the two fireplaces. 
going all the way up. Beautiful woodwork in the cover. And lots of space out here. We are out in Vintage Oaks, so this is on a one acre lot in Vintage Oaks. Now I've got to let you guys know there has been a frenzy if you're looking to buy a one acre lot in Vintage Oaks right now. I was stunned. Six months ago, you'd find 30 or so lots on the market. Now, uh, two days ago, I was trying to help a client buy a lot or find a lot. There was only one on the market. It has gotten crazy out here. And some of it might be my fault with these videos. So promoting the area. But there are other communities that are coming up. They might not be the same as Vintage Oaks, but I want to keep making these videos so you guys know what's going on in the area. This is the office. Still looks about the same as what the model did. Really tall ceilings. The owner of this house is gonna have a really nice, quiet office. Love the little nooks. Nice little closet here. In this room, because it's a custom home, you have the ability to do what you want. In the model home, this room was a little bit shorter and it had a full bathroom. This does not have a full bathroom. It just has the powder room. Sorry, I didn't turn the lights on. But my theory is the owner of this house is gonna use this as their media room because you got all the TV set up there and they wanted to have a little longer room because you can, it's a custom house. Do what you wanna do. But you can tell the feel of this house isn't that much different than what that gorgeous model home looks like at Bell Oaks. It's just a little smaller. And it doesn't have that big upstairs loft uh, slash bar area that the model home had. The owner's suite. Two nice tray ceilings there. Great windows, plenty of space. And uh, the same general layout as the model home, but they put this uh, little middle cupboard in front of the sinks. You do still have the beautiful standalone tub, but this is what a level two tile looks like compared to a level eight, like they saw in the model. I think it's level eight, I'm guessing there. But really super high end fancy. Uh, tile that they had there. But hey, you still get the two sh uh, heads and the rain shower. So, uh, yeah, not that dramatic difference, but going this route definitely cuts some of the cost down. So, when you guys ask me, hey, what's the cost of that house? And my answer is typically, it depends. It depends on what you put in it. They do have a beautiful closet here done up. And there's gonna be your electrical brain area where you can have all your ethernet ports coming in at once. I just remembered, I have not videoed this back corner room over here. So you do have the two bedrooms over here. You're gonna have the Jack and Jill bathroom. With the little mini walk-in closets right there. vanities with a full bath and nice high windows and a good side room and man I still love these high ceilings that they put in these homes like I said remember the model this is where the stairs went up into that loft area And they haven't put the microwave in down there yet. I 
All right, well, I hope we found this video tour uh, informative to show what the contrast is from getting the, seeing the model home that's 4,200 square feet to seeing what actually someone can do and get this version of the model home at 3,000 3, square feet. Sorry, it's been a long day. All right, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to do more videos for you. I am a real estate agent in the area. I am trying to grow my business. So if these videos are, if you're using those to help make these decisions in your life of where you want to live next, feel free to reach out to me. It costs you nothing to use a real estate agent and I'm happy to help. Uh, don't be afraid to send me that text. I love getting new texts and start working with new folks. And I do have a partner coming on real soon. So she's going to help free up more time for me to keep helping more people as well. All right, make sure you like and subscribe and keep sharing these videos with your friends. All right, talk to you soon.